Greetings everyone! Quick review while I'm working with my digital ESR meter here. So in this video, I got another Class D amplifier to review. It is the TDA8932 from NXP Semiconductors. It is the counterpart of the TPA3118 module. But what makes it interesting is that the datasheet says that this chip can take up to 36 volts of supply voltage which I'm skeptical because the chip doesn't have a thermal pad above nor beneath the chip. And take note that this board doesn't have a reverse polarity protection diode so be careful when connecting power to avoid damaging the chip. Now let me connect wire into it and proceed with its sound quality. So here's the setup. I am powering it with 16 volts DC with a 20 watts load speaker. What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Oh, ooh, can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia. Expectations they keep weighing me down My heart is begging me to get the hell out of my head I'm gonna live Can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia A darling under so fed up With these expectations they keep weighing me down As for the sound quality, it has a very clear full range sound which I didn't expect to be this good. I'll discuss about it later. For now, let's have the power test. Same setup as usual for ohms load measurement until clipping point. I will also add a thermometer since I'm expecting worse thermal performance with this module. And here's my DIY scope and the 1 kHz sine wave input. First test will be with 12 volts DC. And here's the scope look. The output looks very clean. There's clipping. I got around 6.62 volts RMS with a power consumption of around 12 watts. And at only 12 volts, the chip's temperature reached 60 degrees Celsius, which is pretty bad already. This is expected since the chip dissipates heat through its case and pins only. So I got 6.62 volts RMS squared divided by 4 ohms load and we've got almost 11 watts RMS at 12 volts. Now let's try with 16 volts DC. But without even reaching clipping point, the chip went into protection. I got a quick reading of 7.6 volts RMS before the output turns on and off. And unfortunately, I can't measure continuous power output higher than 16 volts DC supply. The chip is heating up so much. The ambient temperature here in the Philippines adds up as a factor since almost everywhere here feels like I'm in a freaking sauna. 
So, quick value I got with 16 volts DC was 14.4 watts RMS. I'm a bit disappointed with its power output. The main problem is the chip's design with a bad heat dissipation. But after all, since this board's sound quality is absolutely amazing, I can still recommend it with a rating of 8.7. 14.4 watts RMS is still pretty loud with a decent sized speaker. And if you're into hi-fi audio, this is so far my best sounding class D just like the TPA3110 but more powerful. It's really hard to demonstrate how good sounding it is through a video, so here's the frequency response. Starting from 10Hz, the amp is able to output 10Hz really well, and it's pretty flat down to 20Hz which is impressive. Here's the mid bass. The mid range. And it roll off at around 10 kilohertz, but it can handle up to 20 kilohertz. Now there's something about this board that it sounds like a class AB chip. I personally don't like the sound quality of the 3116 and 3118. So even if this is not as powerful as the 3118, I will still choose this for full range applications. With a price of less than 2 USD, this is absolutely worth it. So that's all for now. If you want one, I'll put a link in the comments. You can ask questions below, give it a like, and we'll do something else for the next one.